oxidation and reduction is a large topic. So in this video, we'll only be covering the basic definitions of oxidation and reduction. Now we can look at oxidation and reduction in four ways. That is through the gain or loss of oxygen, gain or loss of hydrogen, gain or loss of electron, and the increase or decrease in the oxidation number of the element. Now, oxidation number in itself is a big topic. I will cover that in a separate video. Now, oxidation, when we look at oxidation, oxidation can be defined as the gain of oxygen. We can say oxidation happens when oxygen is gained. So let's look at the gain of oxygen. Example, for example, sodium burns in oxygen to form sodium oxide. So when sodium burns with oxygen to form sodium oxide, you can look at the left side of the equation. Sodium here has become sodium oxide. Sodium has become sodium oxide. It has gained oxygen. So we say that sodium has been oxidized to sodium oxide. Let's look at another example. So C2H6, this is ethane. Ethane burns in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So from here, if you notice ethane, now the carbon molecule in ethane has become carbon dioxide. So we can say that carbon in ethane has gained oxygen and so it has been oxidized to carbon dioxide. Carbon in ethane has been oxidized to carbon dioxide. Now hydrogen in ethane has also gained oxygen to form water. So hydrogen has been oxidized to water. Now, we can also look at oxidation as the loss of hydrogen. So loss of hydrogen. So remember gain of oxygen but loss of hydrogen. So in this reaction of ammonia with copper 2 oxide, we can see that ammonia here has lost hydrogen and become nitrogen. So ammonia is said to have been oxidized to nitrogen. Now we can also look at oxidation as the loss of electrons. So gain of oxygen, loss of hydrogen and loss of electrons. So in terms of loss of electrons, let's look at this reaction again, sodium with oxygen. So what has happened here, sodium in its elemental state is neutral. It's an atom here. Now it has lost an electron. This is an ionic compound, sodium oxide. So actually sodium here exists as Na+. So what has happened? Sodium has lost an electron to become Na+. So we say that sodium metal has been oxidized to sodium ion by loss of electron. So reduction is the opposite of oxidation. So let's just look at oxidation again for all four. So oxidation is the gain of oxygen the loss of hydrogen, the loss of electrons, and increase in oxidation number. This I will cover in another video. So reduction, we expect everything to be the opposite. Reduction will be loss of oxygen, gain of hydrogen, and gain of electrons. So for loss of oxygen, we can look at this example. Now, magnesium displaces copper from copper oxide. So the product is magnesium oxide and copper. So when we look at copper oxide, copper oxide has lost oxygen and become copper metal. So we say that copper oxide has been reduced to copper. In terms of gain of hydrogen, you can look at the reaction between ammonia and bromine to form hydrogen bromide. So, bromine here has gained hydrogen to become hydrogen bromide. So, we say that bromine has been reduced to hydrogen bromide. Now, it, reduction is also the gain of electron. So, here we look at oxygen. So, oxygen here has become 
oxide ion. So oxygen has gained two electrons to become oxide ion. So we say that oxygen has been reduced to the oxide ion. Now, redox reaction is when reduction and oxidation happen together simultaneously. So we call it a redox reaction. Now, whenever oxidation happens, okay, the reduction will happen simultaneously. So if there is reduction, there's definitely oxidation. If there's oxidation, there's definitely reduction. Think about it like this. When a reactant loses oxygen or hydrogen or electrons, Okay, this oxygen or hydrogen or electron cannot just disappear. It cannot just uh, cease to exist. It has to be given to some other reactant. So as one reactant is losing oxygen, another reactant is gaining oxygen. As one electron uh, or one reactant is losing hydrogen, another reactant is gaining hydrogen. Okay, so this is just a summary. When oxygen is gained, it is oxidation. Reduction is loss of oxygen. In terms of hydrogen and electrons, oxidation is the loss of both. Reduction is the gain of both. Now, in terms of oxidation number, oxidation is an increase of oxidation number and reduction is a loss of uh, decrease of oxidation number. Now, let's look at the example of a redox reaction. So this is the same reaction as just now, magnesium displacing copper from copper to oxide. So what happens to magnesium? Magnesium has become magnesium oxide, which means it has gained oxygen. And so magnesium has been oxidized to magnesium oxide. But look at copper oxide. So copper oxide here has lost oxygen to become copper. So copper oxide has been reduced to copper. So both oxidation and reduction happen at the same time. This is known as a redox reaction. Now we can look at in terms of uh, loss of loss or gain of hydrogen as well. So ammonia here has become nitrogen, has lost hydrogen, so it has been oxidized to nitrogen. But at the same time, bromine has gained hydrogen. So, bromine has been reduced to hydrogen bromide. So, you can see once again, oxidation and reduction happens at the same time. So, here, hydrogen from the nitrogen has been transferred to bromine. So, what is an oxidizing agent then? Now that we know that oxidation and reduction happen simultaneously, now the substance that has been reduced acts as the oxidizing agent. So oxidizing agent is the substance that is reduced. So let's look again at the same reaction. Now we know that copper oxide here has been reduced to copper. How was it reduced? By losing the oxygen. Now since copper oxide lost the oxygen, think about it like this. Copper oxide gave the oxygen away which the magnesium accepted. Copper oxide donated the oxygen away, which the magnesium accepted. So basically, copper oxide gave the oxygen to magnesium. Think about it like that. So copper, by giving the magnesium the oxygen, it has caused magnesium to be oxidized. And therefore, it is an oxidizing agent because it has caused the other element to be oxidized. So copper oxide here acts as the oxidizing agent. Now for the reducing agent, it's a similar story. So here, uh, copper oxide, uh, magnesium has been oxidized here. So the substance that is reduced is the oxidizing agent but the substance that has been oxidized is the reducing agent. So it's the other way around. Substance that is oxidized, reduce agent, reducing agent. Substance that is reduced is the oxidizing agent. So here, we look at uh, magnesium. Now magnesium here is oxidized to magnesium oxide. 
Okay, it is exo it is oxidized, so it is the reducing agent. Now think about it like this again. So magnesium is oxidized by gaining oxygen. So if it is gaining oxygen, it is taking oxygen. So you think about it as magnesium here has taken the oxygen from copper oxide. Think about it like that. By taking away the oxygen from copper to oxide, what it has done is it has caused copper to oxide to be reduced. And therefore, since it caused the other reactant to be reduced, it is the reducing agent.